Hello and welcome to our talk through of the O3 bags. The O3s are available in five colours at the moment. This is the midnight blue, this is the grey, we've got the berry here too, that's one of our most popular at the moment. This is the black and then you've got the mustard here which I'm going to talk you through today. So all of our O3s from our website come with the nude handles, um, it's the handles that are attached on these bags at the moment here. They come with a solid brass fittings too and as you can see there is a stud attachment at the front of the bag here that helps you open it. If you un fill your bag here. When you receive your bag it will be done up as shown previously. Um, you can undo your straps and then unfold your base which will then leave you able to roll down the top here. So all of our bags come with a hide and hammer label and they've got washing instructions on the inside just so that you know what you're doing with them. So the bags are machine washable as well I should say that. They're machine washable and um, like I said the washing instructions are on the label inside the bag. So you roll down your top and then you open up the base and you've got a nice square base to see into and to put all of your bits and pieces in. So I'm going to just briefly go through the pocket. So there's an A5 size pocket on the back of the bag here. And then on the front of the bag you've got um, a small notions pouch pocket here and then you've got three pockets here that are suitable for needles, pens, um, your crochet hook, anything you might need. So I'm just going to take you through what I'm going to put in this bag here today. So we've got a crochet hook, we've got a spare set of interchangeable needles, we've got our little brown notions pouch that we also sell, We've all got the, um, we've got a pen, <laughs> and we've got our uh, row counter and our magnetic leather cuff. So there's a notebook too for keeping track of everything. So first off, I'm going to pop all of the little notions, pouches and bits and pieces in here. And then you can pop your pens, needles and your um, crochet hook and things in there. I like to do a crochet cast on if I'm doing a preliminary cast on. So I find a crochet hook's really useful to keep in there too. Uh, my notebook, this is a slightly smaller than standard but I didn't have a, an A5 wonder hand. There's our um, magnetic leather cuff there and then um, the row counter. I just use a little digital one here to keep track of where I am. So everything fits really easily in there and as you can see it doesn't impede on the space taken up in the bag so I'm going to pop a project in there at the moment. Uh, I've been working on this for quite some time so there's two balls of yarn and uh, obviously there's the project and the needles and everything that are going in there too. You can fit a lot more yarn into this bag, you can fit uh, about 600 grams maybe 700 at a push and that's I mean, so you've got 200 in there at the moment, but I just wanted to demonstrate uh, how easy it was to use the bag. So you can roll down your top, keeps everything nice and tight and in place. And then you just select from the straps which one you think is going to keep it nice and safe and closed. As you can see, this is on the first one. So if you pop a thumb on either side and then push down, you close the bag nicely. So there you go, you've got all of your notions and you've got 200 grams of yarn with your project in it there. And as you can see the bag is nowhere near capacity. So I'm going to open this up again and I'm going to show you how I knit from this bag. There are a number of different ways of knitting from the bag. I'm going to show you two of my favourites today. Uh, so the first one is the one that I use the most. You roll down your the top of your bag and then use the adjustable strap across the middle and secure it on the last fastening. 
I like to slip my hand through at this point. So uh, once I've removed my project, I slip my arm through the loop on the bag. Once I've untangled my project, <laughs> I slip my arm through and then I can knit directly from the bag and the yarn pulls through nice and easily then as well through the open top of the bag. Keeps everything balanced and means that nothing falls out. I find this is a really good way to knit from um, if you're also if you're sitting or you want to put your knitting on the arm of a chair you can attach the leather strap to the arm of the chair um, you can sort of strap it onto your bag wherever you want to you can also knit from the bag like this too so you move the uh, leather side carrying handle across and you can knit from it at an angle like this again this is a really nice easy way to use the bag and then you have real quick access to your project here too and again, the balls of yarn uh, that are sitting in your bag, they, um, they're really easy to access and they pull through really nicely so you don't end up with any drag when you're knitting. So I'm just going to take out all of the items that we've got in here and I'll show you how quickly and easily we can pop the leather handles off. Uh, for washing or maintenance. Uh, we also sell in the shop, we also sell different handles so should your um, handles become damaged you can always purchase additional handles or we also sell handles in different colours as well so we've got a um, full collection of different coloured handles that you can purchase to personalise and customise your bag. So once you've emptied your O3 you can remove the handles by undoing the brass snaps at the base of each handle and then you can pop your bag in for washing. So the bags are really easily washable, you can hand wash them or you can pop them in on a gentle cycle in the washing machine. The canvas itself is reproofable so after you've washed it a couple of times we recommend a reproofing spray that is suitable for this dry oil skin canvas um, and then you can just pop your handles back on again once it's dry. We do sell the reproofing spray in the shop as well as instructions on how to, imply, um, how to apply it. So it's as easy as that. That's how you put your bag back together again once it's dry and this is how we fold them up here before they leave the shop. So we fold the base and then they fold the top down and then we do the handle up across the front. It's a great way of storing the bags too. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching today. This is the Hide and Hammer 03. And uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoy your new bags. Thank you.